So guys, welcome back to the channel. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a Carlisle United football vlog. But today it is Carlisle versus Tramier. And so far we've sold like 11,000 tickets, which is crazy because let me just say now, I am, I'm actually kind of a bit envious today because I really want to go in the waterworks. The waterworks has, I think it's been like, I've seen it on Twitter. It's been like over 5,000 days since it was last open. But yeah, I've already got my season ticket, obviously. So I don't want to buy two tickets. That would be a little bit silly. We've got a busy day lined up today, so I'm actually going to start vlogging now because we're probably not going to go home again. So, Carlisle have actually dropped to fourth at the minute. However, Chami are a 14th, but as I've previously said, that does not mean anything at all about how you play on the day. So, we've actually came all the way literally just to try this new blue drink. So, we're really hoping that they've got it in. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I've literally... I can't really taste much. I've got quite a bad cold. What a nice taste today, by the way. We've come to uh, the Everlast gym now to go to the sports direct upstairs. So then we decided to go to Weatherspoons, which we knew was risky because how big the attendance was meant to be. But I mean, we risked it anyway and we were sat outside and we dressed for summer, like peak summer, like 25 degree summer. And we were stuck and we could, like the sun was stuck behind a cloud and we were pretty chilly. This is what I got. I got chips with curry sauce and chicken breast bites and it comes with like i think it's got like sticky soy sauce and it's absolutely delicious and then this is us walking to the ground and to be fair at this point it wasn't busy because it was only like two o'clock ish so there was everything there today there was a f the whole fun fair sorry Never in my time have I ever known that. There was a little fun fair. I mean, it is the Easter weekend. Look how busy it was. It took me 20 minutes to get through this crowd. It's so busy. So, so, so busy. There's live music on and everything. This is great. I think the attendance is meant to be like... She would have said like 11,500 tickets or so this morning. So hopefully over 12,000 today. You know, just to be clear, if you are coming from, we normally get like five or six. So in order to attract more fans today, they actually like slashed the ticket prices. I think they're like ten pound, and they gave away loads of tickets like within the community. I think they even did like an egg hunt for some of the tickets. Yeah, the team's been announced. It's looking good. Obviously, Feeney's out, which isn't really ideal. Quite upset, if I'm honest, for the rest of the season as well, which will be a huge miss. <laughs> Now, look how busy the waterworks is. I was so impressed and so envious of all these people because I really wanted it like to go there, but I didn't want to risk it. And also my seat is broken. It has been broken for over two years and nobody is coming to fix it. But I just thought I'd show you guys, make me feel a bit better. And they even had flags today in the Warwick. Yeah, that's how much of a big deal the game was. For some reason, I don't know why they picked today. I think it's just because it was Easter weekend. So they knew that like a lot of people were probably off work.
first half to go back it was going swimmingly to be fair they were all over us for about 20 minutes but somehow Christine Dennis came back and scored his second and everyone thinks he's on the road to a hat trick hopefully so yeah I'm gonna say it's looking good for us currently winning 2-0 and it's like 12,000 fans so yeah I'm gonna predict the attendance I forgot to do a score prediction so I'm gonna do an attendance prediction 12,763 Wishful.
also bonus points to whoever runs Tromia's Twitter because you saved about half an hour of my time editing this by putting your substitutions so blatant and using pictures. It's fantastic. Normally I just write the names really small, but they even got pictures, your players, so well done. <laughs>
skin was actually so enjoyable and it's so like pleasing it's not the right word it's so just nice to know that they've performed well in front of a big crowd because normally Carl I'll do this whole thing promote it get a big crowd and screw it up so brilliant hats off to them because they did so well one two nil in front of like 13,000 and I'd have to double check but yeah I think that everybody played well Ben Barkley got man of the match and to be honest I think a few of them could have got it, but they all did play very well. So I don't know who had to pick that, but that was a tough call today. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I've made a playlist below of all of my football vlogs. So if you enjoyed this one, click straight into the next.